Let's go, baby. That's a good fish, guys. That is a good pompano. That's what it feels just like a pop. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack, and I do Yak with Jack. I do a lot of kayak fishing, surf fishing, pier fishing, wherever the bite is, that's where I'm going to be. And if you're new to the channel, please check out a couple of my videos and subscribe. It's free, and it helps support the channel, and I appreciate you guys. But today, I am headed to the beach. Got my uh, deer cart in the back, Ninja Dagger Rise. We're going to try to catch some pop on it's a cold, gloomy morning, man. We got a bunch of overcast conditions. Uh, we got like a slight north wind, but the surface picked up just a hair. So I feel like the popping is going to be chewing. And I kind of want to do a little catch and cook. I haven't done a catch and cook in a while. I feel like um, I'm in a craving with some ceviche. So some fresh pop of ceviche sounds delicious. So let's get out in the water. Let's get some fish, guys. Let's get it. On the beach on this cold, gloomy day, got me some fresh coffee sitting right here. And my, here we go, one thing, my mic. I got some OP soak. I'm gonna grab some fish gum, put on the first rig out. First uh, rig we're gonna use, this is a frisky rig. And it's actually white and pink. I'm gonna throw some green fish gum on it. I feel like it's one of my favorite colors. I don't know why, but green seems to do very well. If I can get it out the pack when I'm out here start fishing. So I got this pin, spin fish along cast, paired with a Ninja Dagger 11 foot. Perfect for surf fishing, man. I got Got a lot of parallelic bend, and you can just whip this thing. And we'll get a, there's a there's a little deep hole if you see right here, a deep hole. But right behind it, there's a bar sitting by right here. There's a bar, and I'm gonna try to get it right past that bar. Gotta fix my weight. Oh yeah, I'm also using a Frisky Fin Sputnik weight. One of my favorites. Great sponsor of the channel. If you're interested in any of this gear, I will have a link in the description. It's ten percent off for you guys. Da -da -da. There we go, right behind that bar, just where I wanted it. Good job, guys. Hope it ain't what I think it is. Oh, that's a poppin' up, guys. 100% poppin' up. Let's go. Gotta get him over this bar. Get comps attention on him. Circle hook, guys. Circle hook. All the reason I'm walking forward now is just to get in the camera view. Let's go. This is why I like putting the rod first thing out when I'm going. This gotta be popping with them head shakes. Come on. Come on. Yep. Yep. He's jumping on top of the water. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Let's go. First fish of the day has hit the beach guys on the op shrimp you cannot go wrong with this frisky rig oh my gosh this guy was hungry all right guys first fish of the morning on this gloomy gloomy winter morning little sandy caught on green fish scum op shrimp with the frisky fins rig he's definitely legal in the florida standards i'm gonna put him in a bucket we're gonna eat him we're gonna probably make some something i'm gonna do a catch and cook i'm not sure what i want to do yet but i want to do something fresh and healthy let's go put him in the cooler bada -bam, bada -bam, bada -bam. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, baby. That's a good fish, guys. That is a good pompano. That's what it feels just like a pompano. Oh, go. Oh, he's jumping. Stop it. Come on. Come on. In. Come on. In. Let's go. I don't want to lose him on that sandbar. Okay, he's in the gut. He's in the gut. Well, good. That sandbar is pretty shallow. And I get nervous about that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. That's a nice one. Oh, it's a ladyfish. Ah, oh, I thought it was a pompano. Ah. Oh, that makes me sick. Oh man. 
I thought we had a good one guys but it looks like there's still ladyfish in the area I got fooled guys thought it had a nice pompano but it turns out to be this good old ladyfish I'm gonna release him don't really need no more shark bait right now put it back in the water Dang, man. It did like the right one. I thought it was the right one. All right, guys. We're going to move different spots. We got word from our buddy um, G2 Coaster that the popping the bite is going off a little farther west. So we're going to head west and see if we can get on some more fish, guys. Let's go. We got a nice little sand bomb. We'll get it right in that first gut right there. Yeah, first I gotta fix my Sputnik weight because it's messed up on me. So let's try this out. Very nice. First line is out where I'm setting up. There we go. Finally. First fish over here since we moved spots. A lot of head shakes, just like a pompano. That constant tension on. It was like a decent one. Not bad. Yes, I just messed with my drag. I don't see what I don't like that. Let's go. Come on. Come on. He's swimming left. Just like a pompano. Walking back, walking back, walking back. That's a pop of film. I can feel him 100%. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. First pop since we moved spots. Buddy Jordan from G2 Coastal telling him the bite was getting pretty good over here. He may be small though. He's a little tiny one. He's definitely too small. All right, guys. First pop since we switch uh, switch spots. All right, so I'm not sure it's gonna be legal. They gotta be 12 total in Alabama. So I'm gonna measure them and see if it's legal. Hey, 12 total, right, in Bama? Well, he he's legal. So I'm gonna bleed him out. I'm gonna do a nice little kitchen cook, like I said earlier. I'll put him in the cooler. What? He's still there? Oh. Watch it, watch it be a four pounder. It's kind of heavy. Oh man. Nobody got, you got anything heavy to throw? We got a bunch of birds popping them on. He's small. It's so weird reeling in with his left hand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He got heavy. What is it? Come on. Come on. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Nice popping though, guys, right here. Caught on a frisky fins rig. All right, guys, Pompano number three. That's the Alabama limit. We're here in Fort Morgan, Alabama, actually catching these. Like I said, gonna bleed them out, put them in the cooler. And let's just see if we can catch some more. We got a bunch of birds working right here. And see if we can uh, get on these birds that are working. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a bunch of birds working. One. 
Fish on, guys. Nice head shake, though. Good fish. On the Ninja Dag 11 footer. And I was just coming straight in. Ooh, a little heavier than I thought. Okay, okay, okay. I like to keep constant tension. I don't really like, you know, bend down real up. Cause I don't want them pulling that hook. This feels like a good popping though. That feels like a good popping though. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He's on top of the water jumping. On top of the water jumping. Yeah, oh, he's bowed up. He won't go nowhere. He had both hooks in him. This guy's a little too small. That's why these guys fight so hard. Well, they are in the Jack family, if you don't remember, if you never heard me telling us, they're in the Jack family. So, these guys definitely fight like a jack and everybody know if you ever caught a jack they fight super hard i'm gonna release this guy he's a little small bye bye there we go fish on another pompano guys you can feel them head shakes going it's been pretty good over here man the bite's been pretty consistent this would be number five for me i think yeah five nope we'll be number six Actually, hitting the frisky wind, uh, frisky fins popping the rig, white and pink, uh, fresh peeled shrimp, and uh, green fish gum is the bait of choice. He's not a big one though, but he's running the beach like he's something special. Now he's getting big. Look at that. I swear, once they get in that first trough, they act like a whole different animal. Heck yeah, guys. You on too? Huh? Hey, buddy. Stop. I'm going to let you go. I promise. All right, guys, pop number six for the day. I'm um, gonna release him, he's not that big. He's a small guy. My pole over there to the right is getting hit right now as we speak. There you go, buddy. Release you, get big. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. We got a fresh pop on here, just caught today. And look how white that meat is. This is the quality meat you get once you bleach your fish, put it on ice. I got this new toadfish knife they sent me. It's a uh, six inch mid flex, extremely sharp. It's a prototype, I believe. And we're gonna make some fresh ceviche. We got some fresh lime, got some lime juice already squirted in here or squeezed. And we're gonna cut these in little cubes, like so. Little bite sized cubes. Kinda wanna try to make it all uniform, if possible. And just cut them in the cubes. The smaller you cut them, the quicker they will cook in this lime juice because the, I guess the citrus and the acidity actually cleans the, uh, cooks the fish. All right, guys, we have our pompano all cubed up, ready to go. Got some lime juice. Go ahead and put it in the bowl. Into the bowl. Got some more fresh lime juice. Squeeze it on top. I'm going to save one lime to squeeze on top when we're done with everything. And give it a nice, oof, give it a nice mix. You kind of want to make sure it's covered up all the way. Well, not all the way, just barely covered up. That way, it start cooking. Place it in the fridge for about an hour or two until it starts turning white. And then we're going to add our vegetables. These are the vegetables we have. With the uh, um, ceviche, we have some cucumbers, cucumbers, tomatoes, red onions, fresh cilantro, avocado, and some pickled jalapenos I made. We're going to add that all into the ceviche. Some fresh pompano ceviche. All right, guys, the fish is ready. It's been sitting in the uh, 
lemon, the lemon juice for a while, and you can tell how it's turned white and not really translucent anymore. That it's means. The lime juice. So, the popcorn is ready. It's been sitting in lime juice for a while, and you can tell how white it's turning already. It's not really translucent that much anymore. So it's pretty much fully cooked. It can be a little raw. That is fine as long as you treat your fish right. I'm going to dump it in a bowl right here. You don't have to use all your lime juice. You can use some of it so you don't have to add extra lime. I like usually just add it all, usually most of the time. And we got our fresh veggies. veggies. Some cucumber. Jalapeno. Avocado. The purple of onion. Or red onion. Do they call them red onions too? I wonder why. It's obviously purple. Some fresh romaine tomatoes. Avocado needs to be cut up a little more. Add a little bit of salt. Am I missing anything? It's pretty much all you put in there, I believe. I like eating them on a tortilla chip. So I get a tortilla chip like this. That's some fish, avocado, onions. Look at this piece of guacamole on there. And the longer you let it sit, the actual better it's gonna taste, in my opinion. And there she is. Fresh Papano ceviche in November. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. It's so good. I love ceviche. So fresh. Great snack. You can cook it during a football game or even Monday night football tonight. But thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. See you guys next time. You don't like ceviche, do you? Crazy. I don't know what's wrong with you.